Today, we are going to perform the external check on the Cirrus SR20, an advanced single-engine piston aircraft. Manufactured with carbon fibre and equipped with a 210 horsepower Continental IO360 engine, it is the perfect aircraft for long journeys, thanks to its outstanding performance and the comfort it provides during flight. Additionally, Cirrus aircraft are equipped with CAPS, Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, which means the plane carries an integrated ballistic parachute in case it's necessary. The check starts inside the cabin, where we will verify that all necessary documentation is on board, that the avionics switch is in the off position. Turn on battery two master. Listen for the avionics fan. Check that the primary flight display and the multifunction display are powered up. Check the voltmeter to ensure battery voltage is between 23 and 25 volts. The flap light should be off. Turn on battery one master. Check all aircraft lights, navigation lights, landing lights and strobes. Check the fuel quantity. Select the fuel tank with the most fuel. Lower the flaps to 100% position and verify that the corresponding light illuminates. Oil warning light should illuminate. Turn off both batteries. Check that the alternate static source is in the normal position. Check all circuit breakers are in. Verify that the fire extinguisher is charged and in date. Check the hammer. Ensure that the CAPS, Cirrus Airframe Parachute System pin, is removed. Check the door lock. Inspect the radio antenna 1, making sure it is properly secured. Verify the condition of the fairing on the left side. Now it's time to check the radio antenna 2, located on the underside of the aircraft. Ensure it is also securely fastened. Confirm that the luggage door is closed. Ensure that the static port is not blocked. Check that the caps area is sealed and secure. Remove the tie-down rubs. Inspect the vertical and horizontal stabilizers. Ensure the rudder has freedom of movement. At the same time, make sure all screws have safety wires and are in good condition. Check the elevator tab as well. Confirm the static port is not obstructed. Check the condition of the wing fairing. Ensure the door is unlocked. Verify the flaps are correctly deployed and the screws have safety wires. 
inspect the ailerons and their tabs. Check the hinges, actuators, screws and safety wires. Check the condition of the lights. Verify that the wingtip is securely attached. Ensure the vents are not obstructed. Ensure the leading edge is clear and that the stall strips are in good condition. Test the stall warning alarm by means of suction. Ensure the cabin air intake is clear. Check the fuel quantity and confirm that the fuel tank is properly closed. Test the fuel. In our case, we won't check the fairings of the wheels, as this is a training aircraft and they are not equipped. Check the condition of the wheels. Also, make sure there's no brake fluid leakage and no evidence of overheating. Remove the wheel chocks. Verify that the fairing is securely fastened. Check the exhaust pipe for any damage or obstructions. Ensure the transponder antenna is in good condition. Drain the gascalator. Remove the tow bar. Ensure the nose wheel has the screw in place. Inspect the condition of the propeller and confirm that the spinner is undamaged. Also, check for any oil leaks. Ensure the engine inlets are clear and the alternator belt has the correct tension. Check the landing light. Inspect the oil quantity which should be between 6 and 8 quarts. Ensure the external power unit door is closed. Check the exhaust pipe on the left side. Remove the wheel chocks and tie down ropes. Check the condition of the wheel. Ensure the brakes are in good condition and there are no fluid leaks. Test the other fuel tank. Inspect the leading edge and confirm the stall strips are in good condition. Inspect the air intake. Check the fuel quantity in the left tank, ensuring that the cap is closed. Verify that the vent is not obstructed. Ensure that the pitot tube is not covered and has no obstructions. Check the condition of the lights. Check that the flaps are down, the screws are secure and there is no visual damage. Verify that the ailerons move smoothly and finally check the hinges and actuators for their condition. With this, we have completed the walk around of the Cirrus SR20.